This is what a customer saw Sunday, a dead rodent inside Dollar General in North Bend. She took it straight to county health inspectors who went to see for themselves. Their report notes the presence of live insects, rodents, and other pests, large amount of mice feces, and nesting material in facility. They also noted dirt and debris and large amounts of rodent feces throughout the store, on and under shelving, even in non-food sections. This woman came in today for light bulbs. It's frequently disorganized, but I've never seen an actual creature like a mouse or a rat or a bug. She found the store temporarily closed, as did others who made the rainy morning trek unaware of the sanitation situation inside. The facility clearly hadn't been able to, to get the issue under control. The assistant health commissioner says Dollar General, faced with the findings, voluntarily closed. During the inspection, we actually observed animal feces on shelves throughout the store. We also observed it on, on top of closed food packages, and at least one package had been chewed open. Store-wide cleaning was underway during Monday's normal operating hours as regulars were left largely in the dark. The checklist going forward, exterminate pests, clean every square inch of the store, and pass a reinspection by Hamilton County health experts. Only then will the store be allowed to reopen. Health officials emphasized how much the photos provided by the concerned customer and the immediate contact helped. I received this complaint at 3 o'clock on a Sunday. Our business is not open for regular customers to come in, and we inspect it because we consider it a serious violation. Now, once something this significant occurs in any of the 2,600 establishments within the county's jurisdiction, inspectors return monthly for at least the next six months to ensure health and sanitation standards are met. Mike?